Excellence, Mesdames. Our Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this session, which is uh, much anticipated, as illustrated by your light turnout in the room. And this provides an exposure to investment promotion in Cameroon. And Cameroon is, stands as the driver of his region, ICAS, and it also has a lot of the investment opportunities that we'll be covering during the session that I will be honored to facilitate. The country is home to opportunities and also offers a very uh, great framework for private investments. So for the start of this meeting, I will be uh, opportune to raise some questions to the leaders, specifically to the, His Excellency Joseph Ndete, whom I would like to ask to join me on the stage under your applause. Excellence, thanks for accepting to be here to respond to some few questions to set the stage. What is the strategy by Cameroon to strengthen its economic sovereignty? Uh, well, say welcome to all those who have come here to, who are interested in Cameroon. Uh, it's a pleasure to see you all, and uh, we want to let you know that Cameroon is open for business. First of all, I would like to say that um, since 2008, we've had a number of events, worldwide events. In 2008, we had the crisis which resulted from the housing markets in the United States, which affected a lot of banks and which created distortions in different economies. Recently, it's been the same thing. We've had uh, COVID-19. As we're trying to recover from COVID-19, we had the Ukrainian war that has also created a lot of disturbances in the supply chains and in certain commodities, like uh, we, we know, uh, like uh, fertilizers and the like. Cameroon has decided, in the view of all of this, to reinforce its resilience and to prop up its internal structures in order to meet the challenges that emanate from outside. And that is why, under the leadership of the head of state, President Paul Bia, he put forward what we call the SND Trant the National Development Strategy 2020-2030. And that strategy is meant to not only industrialize the country, but in order to take advantage of our natural environment, our climatic environment, our strength in agriculture, to increase the value of all our products and to make sure that we are not dependent on external shock uh, fact, uh, factors, and therefore we can resist more to external shocks. That is the vision of the country, and that is what I, as head of government, am rolling out. So to go with this vision, I will switch to English, if uh, you don't mind. Uh, to, so to go with this vision, what are, uh, from your point of view, Your Excellency, the uh, specific public policies to be, uh, or that can help Cameroon uh, adapt to a wider part to the global value chain? Well, first of all, one of the pillars of uh, the national strategy is import substitution. There are a lot of things which we were importing and which we think we can create and develop within the country. And I'll give you one example which uh, catches 
which uh, captures this uh, philosophy, metallurgy, until quite recently we imported more than 70% of our building materials in terms of iron rods and the like. Today, Cameroon not only is providing all the iron rods for its construction, but we have a surplus which we're exporting to other nations around us. So that is just an example of uh, a devel development of the policies and rolling it out, which gives a kind of sovereignty, if you like. I know that it's not total, you can't have total sovereignty, but uh, we are doing this in order to make sure that we are self-sufficient in a number of critical areas. The other area I can mention is in agro-industry. Uh, there are a number of uh, things which we're importing, which uh, I must say right now we are exporting. Not only are we satisfying our local markets, and uh, this deals with a number of products, uh, food products, we are producing our own, we are developing our own, and then we are exporting to other countries. There are some areas where we still have a few problems, like uh, some commodities like rice and the like, but we are also in this process trying to develop the land because the important thing in, in rice production is not planting or doing that, it's, it's the land. You have to irrigate the land, you have to get it, make it appropriate for people to invest in, and government's role is to create that infrastructure to develop the land, irrigate it, make sure that uh, it's fertile and it's good, and then we get private sector operatives to come in and do the work. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for uh, giving us this, these insights about why it is very interesting to invest in your country, Cameroon. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you.